let's talk a little bit about what's going on with Bitcoin and with uh, Trump's comments. We also got El Salvador that is going to make Bitcoin legal tender. And let's also talk about the Bitcoin conference that wrapped up over the weekend in Miami. I have a few thoughts on that as well. But first, let's take a look at the meme of the day. And it is Bitcoin related. Here is the meme of the day, guys. All right. Awesome. Let's talk about Trump and Trump's comments. Uh, Bitcoin has gone down like 10%. It's at like 32,000 now, 33,000. So it took, a, it took a dive. There was some news out of China as well um, that they're also going to be cracking down on Bitcoin once again for the thousandth time. And uh, I think the big thing that sent Bitcoin down and all of the uh, crypto market down was Trump's comments. And uh, Trump said that Bitcoin is a scam, and he said that he wants the dollar to be the world currency. Now, everyone went a little crazy over this. I did it really because this is typical Trump, isn't it? I don't think it was so much a Bitcoin thing. I think if the interviewer had asked Trump what he thought of the euro, Trump would say it's a scam. And the euro is a scam. <laughs> but um, I think if uh, Trump was asked about uh, the yen, or about the the one or the ruble or anything bitcoin cardano ethereum whatever he would have said it's a scam because trump is an america first guy he said it as clear as day he says i want the u.s dollar to be the world currency that's trump when has trump changed that position of being an america first guy you know if you asked him any currency if you if you told him gold silver he'd say it's a scam stock market it's a scam he wants the USD to be the world currency. And I'm being hyperbolic here, but that's exactly what, what Trump would say. This is completely in, in Trump's character. I don't think this is, um, I don't think this has anything to do with Bitcoin, to be quite honest. I don't know, I understand why the markets reacted the way they did, because this wasn't a Trump thing. This was a Trump saying that he specifically doesn't like Bitcoin, and if he were president, he would ban it. No. He's just making, once again, an America first statement. He wants the US dollar to be the world reserve currency, period. And I think he's feeling uh, very disheartened at the fact that uh, countries are, to a certain extent, de-dollarizing, for lack of a better word. He does see that uh, the dollar is losing a lot of its power. Um, under the Biden administration. So anyway, I don't think that uh, um, the markets should have crashed the way they did. The crypto markets should have crashed the way they did off of uh, that Trump statement. I don't even think people should have taken it too, uh, too seriously. Actually, it was exactly in line with Trump's character. That statement, uh, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have expected a different statement from Trump. I want the U.S. dollar to be the world reserve currency. That is typical Trump. That is MAGA. That is America first. Anyway, enough with that. The good news, which didn't send the markets up, but it's huge news, and that is that El Salvador is going to be uh, putting legislation to, uh, to the parliament that may make Bitcoin, that will make Bitcoin, if it's passed, a legal tender. Doesn't mean it's going to be the currency of El Salvador. El Salvador right now uses the USD but it does mean that uh, Bitcoin will be legal tender. It will legitimize Bitcoin. It's a huge step. El Salvador is a small country. It's got a lot of problems, but uh, you know, it starts with one country and uh, then it starts with two and then four and then eight. And you guys get the picture. Slowly, slowly countries start to uh, look at what El Salvador and the countries out there El Salvador have done by making Bitcoin uh, legal tender by making Bitcoin uh, legitimate in their country by attracting investors and businesses and crypto holders to their country and uh, they're going to to follow that and they're going to follow that example so it's going it's going to take some time it's going to take some years but uh, this is a great move this is a huge move for for Bitcoin and all of crypto uh, for small countries that are looking for certain advantages in this world, this is a, a very smart move from El Salvador. Very smart move from El Salvador and a smart move for uh, other countries to follow suit. I wish that Cyprus would do the same, but obviously the small island of Cyprus is beholden to whatever the EU tells it to do, so it can't make decisions like that. But uh, if you're a small, sovereign, independent country, 
making Bitcoin legal tender, making it attractive for investors and holders and businesses to move to your country, to operate from your country, to do business in your country and, uh, and build up a, a crypto ecosystem. Man, it is smart. Very, very smart. Good move, El Salvador. Good on you. And finally, guys, the Bitcoin 2021 conference wrapped up in Miami and uh, it was over the weekend and it was just an absolute cringe fest a lot of people were very excited about it this is uh this is the big bitcoin conference it's gonna put bitcoin on the map and it's gonna you know make everyone uh, love bitcoin and, and, and all this nonsense the same tricks and tactics that uh, the technology company silicon valley um, the vcs used to do with uh, social media and when they were promoting facebook and high five and bebo and Friendster and MySpace and all that stuff. And they were doing all their little conferences and they were saying how this is going to change the world and uh, all that type of, uh, that type of uh, marketing and PR hype. I hate, the, I hate these types of conferences. I really do. Uh, I really wish that they wouldn't do these types of uh, marketing and PR conferences. I know it was in Miami, but it definitely had a Silicon Valley VC uh, influence to it. And that made it absolutely cringe. The headline speaker was Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey, really? You're going to have Jack Dorsey be the headline speaker about Bitcoin? But that right there tells me that the whole thing is was just a, just a shit show. I mean, you have the, the man who's CEO of a company that has single-handedly destroyed the First Amendment, deplatform a U.S. president, uh, crushed free speech, and is absolutely authoritarian in everything they do. Um, God knows how many lives were put at stake because they were censoring such critical information that people could have gotten about uh, the coof and about the medicines used in the coof. How many lives were put at, uh, in jeopardy because Twitter and Facebook and Google decided to censor uh, medical opinions as to how to handle the, uh, the, the, the coof? God only knows. God only knows. But anyway, you had this guy speaking about Bitcoin. And, he's t and Jack Dorsey was talking about the freedom of Bitcoin. And it's going to be his life's work now to deal with Bitcoin. Anyway, having him as a headliner just showed to me that, that this conference was, was a shit show. A shit show. It was cringe. Absolute cringe. There were some good speakers. But, you know, my take on this is we don't need these conferences. The space doesn't need these conferences. The industry doesn't need these conferences. And uh, they, they don't need them to, uh, to have that Silicon Valley influence. I know it was in Miami, but it definitely had a Silicon Valley VC touch to it. We don't need big tech getting their hands on it. We don't need them uh, influencing this space. We really don't. Uh, Bitcoin is, is all about, and crypto is all about decentralization. It's all about getting, getting some, uh, some freedom, some upward mobility out of the hands of these big tech oligarchs of these big tech oligarchs not uh, having it centralized into the hands of these big tech oligarchs so my take on that was this conference was a big waste of effing time and uh, i hope people don't pay attention to these conferences because they do more harm than they do good and people like dorsey do more harm than they do good people like musk do more harm than they do good i know a lot of people say musk and dorsey they're going to bring attention to bitcoin you don't need them to bring attention to bitcoin it's not about them Bitcoin's about you. It's about us. It's about uh, getting some freedom and some financial independence in your life. So we don't need Dorsey. We don't want Dorsey and uh, we shouldn't. We don't need Musk. We don't want Musk. The, the space is fine without these guys and without these Silicon Valley conferences. Anyway, guys, that's my opinion on that. That is a quick roundup on what's going on with Bitcoin and crypto. The markets are down. Things really went to the uh, to the crapper, but uh, it'll go back up. It'll go back up. They're just trying to, to shake everybody out. The JP Morgans and the Jack Dorseys and the Musks and the, uh, and the Goldman Sachs and the Vampire Squids, all these guys in Wall Street, they're just trying to shake us out. Shake us out so they can buy it up and they can control the, uh, the financial future of this planet. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Odyssey, Super U, Bitch Shoot, and of course our locals community. Check us out there. You'll find all the links down below. Take care. Mm -hmm.